Gal and welcome to my world. It is the last day of the month, which only means one thing. <gasps> DIY gaming box time! So if you don't know what this is, basically at the end of every month I spin this little roulette wheel here. Whatever number it lands on correlates with a game system that I own. Then for the next month I have to try and buy games for this particular system within a budget of £25, trying to get a good mix between quantity and quality. So last month when I spun the wheel it landed on Sony's PlayStation 3 and uh, whew, I did have a bit of trouble with this one to begin with to be honest, just because uh, I do own a decent amount of PS3 games, uh, it's getting to the point now where I sort of I own a lot of the, the big hitters that I would want, so it's now trying to find other smaller games that, yeah, I'm, I'm looking for, but maybe just looking for a bit cheaper, things like that, or just trying to find new games that I didn't know existed that might interest me. So, time to find out exactly how I did. So, let's get started with the first. Okay. First up, we actually have two items. These cost a whole £1 each. I'm just going to put that down there. I don't have my table today. It's uh, currently filled with other stuff. Yeah, so um, I took a trip to Game & Movie in Sheffield. Uh, because if you saw my uh, previous video, my, uh, what I got for Christmas 2021 bonus uh, edition, I showed off um, a voucher that I got uh, from my brother uh, for the Game & Movie Sheffield shop. So I went there to buy some things while I was there. So if I could get anything for the PS3, and yep, indeed I did. In fact, most of my PS3 purchases came from there, though I still have some pickups to show off in a future pickups video, so you know, stay tuned for that. Anyway, firstly we have two PlayStation 3 magazine demo discs. Big fan of collecting demo discs. Um, if you might have saw a couple of years ago, basically when lockdown first started, I started collecting demo discs. Got a huge pile over here of PS1 demo discs, I've got a huge pile of PS2, and I have a, a small amount of PS3 discs, so for a quid each, I picked up these two. So we've got issue 71 and 44. And the only thing with PS3 demo discs is that you can't just play the games off the disc, you have to download and install them. Um, well, I think you install them from the disc, they're all there, but uh, yeah, you can't just boot them up and play like you could with PS1 and PS2 games. Uh, yeah, so what have we got here? Uh, the good thing is at least they're on Blu-ray discs and there's a ton of them usually. So we've got uh, whew, Uncharted 2, Yakuza 3, Lost Planet 2, Battlefield Bad Company 2, uh, Digger HD, uh, Fairy Tale Fights, Vancouver 2010, Mushroom Wars, Dragon Ball Raging Blast, Smash Cars, Ratchet and Clank, A Cracking Time, Fat Princess, and a few others, as well as I think some movies and things, whatever. Yeah, so uh, not bad for the quid. And then let's see what else we have on uh, this other one here. If I can open it up properly. Yeah, what have we got? Oh, wow, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 13. Just what I always wanted to play, SSX, Syndicate, uh, Binary Domain, Top Gun Hard Lock, or like Top Gun Hard Pass, <laughs> that's a crap film, uh, Pixel Junk Side Scroller, The King of Fighters 13, GoldenEye 007 Reloaded, Disney Universe, Grease Dance and others as well. Yep, so always happy to uh, get uh, demo discs and especially when they're such cheap prices because while you can get uh, cheap ones on ebay usually um you then end up getting stuck paying postage which isn't always a lot but you know you, you still end up paying maybe two quid for a disc and then 150 or something daft postage and it's just like eh whatever so that's those so far from a whole two pound all right next in the box the one that didn't come from game and movie sheffield this cost a whole four pounds my uh wrestling game collection, WWE All-Stars. The fact is, I haven't owned this until now on any system. Uh, I'd originally played it on the Wii when it came out, when I had my Wii um, <coughs> yeah, uh, modded and uh, could 
play games without purchasing them. And yeah, whatever was the Wii version wasn't that good. Um, playing just a bit of this for this video. Yeah, it's really fun. It's very much arcadey style, like the older wrestling games were. Um, all exaggerated, of course. Everyone's all big, bulked up. And when they do finishing moves, you know, they dive in the air and spin around and slam down. Yeah, it's fun. Um, I couldn't quite figure out how to do many moves. Just, there was one point, um, I probably have it on screen, where I pick up uh, Jake Roberts, I'm the Undertaker, and it tells me if I press like the right stick, I can change positions and do different moves, and no matter what, how many times I press the button in, move the stick, whatever, nothing would happen. Um, yeah, so uh, wasn't quite sure what I'm doing in there, but um, it's probably a game I would go back to and try out and play a bit more, certainly more than the 2K games for the last seven years. Uh, so, WWE All-Stars for £4. Alright, next again from Game and Movie Sheffield, one that was on my want list, and that is Time Crisis Raising Storm. Of course, Time Crisis, amazing light gun shooter games from the arcades and ported to consoles, back on the PS1, PS2 and of course PS3 here. And what I didn't realise when I actually bought this is that it also includes Time Crisis 4, which awesome, and... A random arcade game called Dead Storm Pirates. Yeah, and uh, tested out all of them. Uh, you can play them without the move controller, thankfully, because I don't own one just yet. They're still pretty pricey, especially because they're used for VR, but uh, you know, PlayStation, uh, they're coming out with a newer version of their VR with new controllers and things, so hopefully, hopefully the move controllers will drop in price as people are going over to the new version. Uh, yeah, so you can play with the controller and there's still boatloads of fun. Uh, I looked up reviews of this and it got very mixed reviews. People could play, oh, it's not very fun. And it's like, what the hell? I had a blast playing it, just going around shooting things. It's fun. It'd be even better with the move controllers, probably, because, you know, more accurate aiming. Uh, and the fact that there are three games in one, great. Um, Time Crisis, Racing Storm, and Time Crisis 4 are on the disc. You do have to uh, install. Um, Dead Storm Pirates though, so I think that's a download, but other than that, yeah, really really fun, uh, three games in one, and this uh, only sent me back a whole £8, so awesome for that. <coughs> and lastly, this game cost me £10, bringing my total up I believe to £24, leaving me with a whole £1, and that is Deadpool. So there is also a next-gen version of this on PS4 and that, but it's crazy expensive. It's like, you know, 14, 50 quid. Um, so I just went with the PS3 version. I've been looking at it for a while. Thought, why not for a tenner? Um, yeah, it's kind of your know, hack and slashy game, kind of like your Devil May Cry, Bayonetta. Probably closer to a Devil May Cry and Bayonetta than a God of War, because you, know, you can also use guns. Um, you got a bunch of different upgrades, and of course it's got the whole um, fourth wall breaking, um, metaverse or whatever crap they call it these days that Deadpool does and yeah it's hilarious and I've been having a blast with it uh, I'm not too fond of the gunplay mechanics in this so I am also just uh, slashed people apart with swords but yeah really really fun I can see it getting a bit repetitive uh, the more you play but that can really be said about most games of this style you know as long as you're having fun Beating things up with the weapons, uh, you know, it doesn't matter. You know, I'm happy to play. You know, ten hours worth of that. So yeah, awesome, really fun game, Deadpool. Um, the only thing is, it can get a bit confusing because uh, uh, <coughs> you have like comic strip text for some voices in Deadpool's head. There were two different voices inside his head that talked to him. And then you also have his voice uh, when he's actually talking, when he'd be really talking to the player or just to, to the voices in his head. His Deadpool is insane. So you sometimes get three voices all at once kind of talking over each other, especially if like um, there's, you know, text, they're talking as if it's like a cutscene, but you can move about, then you interact with something, then something else starts talking uh, about what you're interacting with that's also talking, what the, the voice in your head are talking, and it just gets really confusing, and I think, I'm going insane now. Isn't that right, voices in my head? <laughs> yeah, good one. No one else can hear that, can they? Yeah, Deadpool. <coughs> yeah, fun game. 
uh, yeah, definitely recommend it. If you, if you can get the next gen version for cheap, probably go with that. It could probably, I don't know, look nicer, maybe play a bit better. Can't say I had any issues with frame rate or anything like that. Um, yeah, so Deadpool. So, yeah, I'm very, very pleased with uh, what I got this, uh, this month. Deadpool, of course. Time Crisis Raising Storm also comes with Time Crisis 4 and uh, Dead Storm, yeah, Dead Storm Pirates. Uh, Dead Storm Pirates as well. Um, you don't reload. You can just hold down the button and shoot things, and it's just it's just a boatload of fun. No pun intended. Um, WWE so All Stars, probably the better wrestling game released in the last decade, unfortunately, at least from WWE anyway. And got Fire Pro and two. Demo discs. I uh, always like collecting demo discs, especially when they're cheap. Uh, not sure if there's anything in particular I will go and play on them just to give a try because honestly, I think anything sort of on the demos that I'm interested in, I either own or have tried out and decided I don't want to play them. So, yeah, not bad. Right, all that's left to do now is to spin this uh, delicious little wheel here and see what I have to collect for in the month of February. Right, I uh, don't have my usual table again. It's set up for an interesting project I hope to show off soon, so... Right, I'm going to get the camera off here. Hello. Uh, move some lights a little bit so we can see things, and then hopefully... Yeah. <coughs> right, uh, let's have a look, see? Right, ah, oh, that'll be, that'll be fine. Right, let's give it a spin. See what we get. Ah, come on, Big Cal's Choice at zero. We've never had it yet. Come on, what are you going to give me? Oh, so close. We have number three. And that is... Ooh, the Nintendo Wii. Right, the Nintendo Wii. Um, I'm a... I've always said I'm a huge fan of the system. I think it's one of the most underrated systems, which can be a little bit hilarious to say, considering how well it's old. It's like you know, the fifth, maybe sixth best-selling system of all time now, after the Switch has passed it. I'm not quite sure. Basically, it's old, like 101 million or something daft. And it has a huge library of games, but it's underrated because people only tend to focus on how much shovelware was on the system. Uh, but once you get through that and you get to the good stuff... Yeah, you, you don't have like 500 fantastic games for it, but you've probably got 100 to 150 really quality titles and then another few hundred that are just boatloads of fun. Um, yeah, so I'm always up for buying and uh, finding new Nintendo Wii games, so that's going to be fun. Well, I'm Big Cal, thanks for watching. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of my PS3 pickups. Let me know what I should get for the Wii in the next month, and I'll see you again next time.